Hey, this is Dr. Fats here, and in this video I will be unboxing this 37-inch uh, soundbar with a built-in subwoofer. It's made by a company called iLife. I picked this up at Fry's yesterday, and I couldn't pass up on a deal because it's regular, I think it's about $90, and I got this for uh, $40, so it's a pretty good deal. As you can see, uh, some of the pictures up front here tells you that it can be hooked up to a TV, you can hook it up to an iPod, and also has a built-in subwoofer, and it's a really good package considering the price I paid for it. So let me open this up. So it comes with a remote control. Quick start guide. RCA cables with batteries for the remote. And I believe these are probably brackets you can use to wall mount it because this sound bar can be wall mounted and it comes with different brackets. So here's the unit after I took all the wrappings off. There's the front. There's a tray over here that will come out to put your iPod. Over here, there's an LCD display on the bottom right hand side. Here's the top of the unit. The back. At the bottom here, you see the subwoofer. So it fires downwards. These are the connections at the back. There's video out. And then the green, blue, and red is the component out. This video in. The red and the white here. This is audio input one. This one here, the red and white here, is the audio input two. There's a subwoofer output. So if you have an external subwoofer, you can hook this up. There's a little pinhole for reset to reset the unit. Over here on the right, there's FM antenna you can plug into because this unit also has a built-in uh, radio. So you can listen to the radio if you want. And this system is rated at 75 watts. So I have a movie in there right now playing. And I'll unmute this so you can hear it. And the bass in the treble is set to zero, so it's flat right now. And this power grid, now I'm gonna take back what is rightfully mine. I will control everything, and I will be like a god to them. A god named Sparkles? This is maximum volume and it's 40. Let me go ahead and uh, turn up the bass. Again, the bass right now is set to zero, but let me crank up the bass. Plus zero 08 is a maximum. As a comparison, I'll turn up my Pioneer system with the 5.1 speakers and then give you an idea of the difference in the sound quality.
and I'll do the same scene. I'll go back to the uh, iLive 37 inch soundbar. <laughs> Here you see there are also some buttons to control the volume and the power. Over here on the left side, there's actually a drawer where you put in your iPod and you can open and close that with the remote control. The button's right over here. So let me open that up. Here you see the tray where you can put your iPod here. Open and close. So overall my initial review of the soundbar is that I think it's a little flat on the sound. The uh, stereo doesn't sound as bright. Uh, the bass, even though there's a subwoofer built in, um, you don't really get a lot of bass on it. So for the price I think it's okay, but I'm, I'm not sure if I really want to pay more than what I paid for this uh, on sale. Uh, I think it's uh, good for a smaller room if you have a an apartment or a small office you want to use this in. I think it's pretty good. Anyways, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.